card game. She Whoa. invented this game once. Oh, I know. <laughs> We're so close. Don't touch me. Welcome back, everyone. It is Lucifer. This is Aubrey Plaza, my favorite and funny scene. It was a warm summer afternoon, and the production crew of Parks and Recreation had gathered on set to shoot a particularly hilarious scene involving Aubrey Plaza's character. April Lajit. The scene took place in the office of the Pavni Parks and Recreation Department, where April worked alongside her boss, Leslie Nope, played by Amy Poehler. As the cameras rolled, Aubrey entered the scene, looking bored and disinterested as usual. Amy, who was in character as Leslie, tried to engage her in conversation about a new project they were working on, but April wasn't having it. Can't we just skip all this work stuff and talk about something fun? Aubrey said, smirking at the camera. Amy rolled her eyes, but she couldn't help but smile at Aubrey's irreverence. The two actresses had become close friends on set, and their off-screen chemistry translated seamlessly into their on-screen banter. Okay, fine, Amy said, playing along. What do you want to talk about? How about aliens? Aubrey said, leaning forward in her chair. Do you believe in them? Amy chuckled. April, I think we have more pressing matters to attend to than extraterrestrial life forms. Aubrey shrugged. Suit yourself. Waving to the audience, and they wanted to talk about following, and I was like, I don't want to do it. Cause and then I didn't start thinking about acting until I was discovered when I was 14 um, by a model, modeling scout. Um, <laughs> I was much younger and thinner. Um, and... I, they had me do like a cold read, like a Reese's peanut butter puff commercial. And you wanted me to go over and dance with okay, it too? Okay, we, like, I'm afraid people think it's like a shtick, and I'm like, and it actually makes me kind of mad when it happens. <laughs> oh, it's not and fun so to fall. Being turned down. But if you ever need me to call in the men in black, you know who to call. The crew erupted in laughter, and even Amy had to stifle a giggle. Aubrey had a way of making even the most mundane conversations hilarious and entertaining. Okay, okay, Amy said, trying to regain her composure. Let's get back to work. We have a deadline to meet. Aubrey groaned, but she begrudgingly turned her attention back to the task at hand. As she typed away on her computer, however, she couldn't help but make sarcastic comments under her breath. April, do you have something you'd like to share with the class? Amy asked, raising an eyebrow. Aubrey looked up, fiddling innocence. Who, me? I'm just doing my work, boss lady. Amy rolled her eyes, but she couldn't stay mad at Aubrey for long. She knew that beneath her tough exterior, April was a loyal and dedicated employee who cared deeply about the work they did. As the scene came to a close, Aubrey delivered one final zinger that had the entire crew in stitches. Well, that was a productive meeting, she said, standing up from her chair. I feel like we really accomplished a whole lot of nothing. We're like, you did what? Yeah. And so we were dancing. We see J-Lo and we're like, well, we got to dance. Yeah. J-Lo to dance. <laughs> and you'll never know you'll, what show it was. You follow the time. Yeah. Like, no, I don't want to. Yesterday on the plane, I spilled yogurt all over the plane. And the whole plane <laughs> smelled like sour milk. Um, and so I was like, I, I had somewhere in my brain an idea of something. Um, again, just that youthful confidence, I guess, being my compass. Hold on. <laughs> you're welcome. You're fun to hang out with. Yeah. yeah. They were like, whatever you do, don't tell them that you're here for work. The crew burst into applause, and even Amy couldn't help but chuckle at Aubrey's comedic timing. She had a way of making even the most mundane scenes come to life with her quick wit and irreverent humor. As the camera stopped rolling, Aubrey turned to the crew and flashed them a sly grin. Same time tomorrow, she said, winking at the camera. The crew erupted in laughter, and as they packed up their equipment and headed home for the day, they couldn't help but marvel at Aubrey's comedic genius. She was truly a force to be reckoned with on set, and everyone knew that whenever she was involved in a scene, it was sure to be a memorable one. The scene was a classic April moment, where she had to deal with an annoying co-worker named Jerry, Jim Oye who constantly bugged her with his inane stories and terrible jokes. April, who was notorious for her sarcastic quips and deadpan delivery, was not in the mood for Jerry's shenanigans. As the crew set up the shot, Aubrey and Jim were seated at their respective desks, with the camera trained on their faces. The director called for action, and Jim launched into a long-winded story about his weekend trip to the beach. And he was like, where is he getting married? 
Wimbledon. <laughs> Wanna dance with Just you. dance with us. Just dance with us. What's the big God. deal? He's full of but I'll let it slide because I know how sad you are about the Dodgers. Everybody, I think everybody thinks that they've witnessed my most embarrassing moments because yeah. I fell on my face. Yeah. Are you American? Yes. Do you have an invitation? No. <laughs> are you telling the truth? No. No. <laughs> I don't have a work piece. Very immersive um, and kind of. Aubrey listened patiently for a few seconds, but then she rolled her eyes and cut him off. Okay, Jerry, we get it, she said, her tone dripping with sarcasm. You went to the beach. How fascinating. Jim looked crestfallen, but Aubrey didn't back down. She continued to give him a hard time, mocking his stories and making fun of his clothes. The crew couldn't help but laugh as they watched Aubrey work her magic. She had a way of making even the most mundane lines seem hilarious and unforgettable. As the scene continued, Aubrey's character April reached her breaking point with Jerry's nonsense. She stood up from her desk and began to pace around the office, muttering under her breath. Okay, that's it, she finally declared. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to lose my mind if I have to listen to one more of your terrible jokes. Jim looked genuinely hurt. But Aubrey couldn't. When I was young, I was probably just only focused on myself, I would assume. Um, there, I mean, we, it was, it's such a unique place in America. Uh, um, was during Silver Linings year, like award season, it was one of those, you know, parties. And, yeah. <laughs> Is a future what past. What kind of porn are you looking at? <laughs> He's like, this reminds me of porn. No, I <laughs> The good news is... <laughs> The good news is that most Dodger fans were able to put a positive spin on the whole thing. Uh, the Ozarks and um, and the lives there are very unique. So, uh, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it would have been possible to to be authentic in that performance without some. Not Resist one final zinger. Seriously, Jerry, she said with a sly grin. I'd rather stick needles in my eyes than listen to you talk. The crew erupted in laughter, and even Jim couldn't help but crack a smile. Aubrey had once again stolen the show with her razor-sharp wit and impeccable comedic timing. As she left the set, Aubrey couldn't help but think about all of the funny moments she had shared with her co-stars over the years. Whether it was riffing on each other's jokes or coming up with silly pranks, the cast of Parks and Recreation had become like a second family to her. And as long as she had her quick wit and her sense of humor, Aubrey knew that she would always be able to make people laugh. If you like this video and subs for more upcoming videos,